What's up guys? Today we're back with another video. We just had a huge lake effect snow fall over two and a half feet of snow. The entire town is closed down. I just got a call from the fleet manager of the public works. They need a few extra set of hands. So today we're a plow truck driver. It is negative five degrees out. Let's hop in the commons. Let's get the truck warmed up and head on over to the shop. It is negative 5 degrees out, so this is a cold start All on the commons. I did have it plugged in overnight, so it should fire right on up here for us, which is pretty sweet. We'll activate 4x4 four four here over 2.5 feet of snow that we'll be driving through. Now, this has been a highly requested video by many of you guys here, so if you do enjoy it, smash the like button, destroy it, uh, since it does help out here with the YouTube algorithms, and there is a full mods list up on my website, link down below. But this should be a pretty fun day here for us. It's always nice to run a big plow truck I am pushing a lot of snow here we have a lot of roads that do need to be cleared but wow it's a pretty short drive over to the public works here I think that's our truck here I'm actually gonna get the truck parked up here I'm gonna make a phone call really quickly uh, just to make sure it is here but look at that guys we are making some pretty big tire tracks the uh, BF Goodridge tires with a 4x4 is pretty much unstoppable in the snow but look at just how deep it is there is just so so much snow lake effect snow uh, storms like this really don't come around too often, but when it does, we do get a ton of snow. I just got off the phone here with a fleet manager. This is the truck we'll be running. The keys are in it. Looks like we do have a wing plow on it. A huge 12 foot snow plow here up front here. Let's climb on over the plow. We do have tire chains here on it. Now there is a salt spreader, but it's actually empty. He said that they ran out of salt here. Sometimes storms like this really come at a surprise and sometimes they just aren't ready here for us. But let's get the plow raised on up. Now there are a lot of snow drifts here. There is just a lot of snow and some of the uh, roads are completely snowed on in here. We do have a lot of kind of subdivisions to do along with the main road here. We're coming up on the main road. Let's get the wing plow dropped here. Now I did bring the camera and tripod with us. That should be a lot of fun as well. I can't wait to kind of give that a try here. Now the fleet manager said to use the entire roadway. We do need the lanes open here, but sometimes you guys can see the snow drift really just kind of pushes it on over here, but it's nice to be back here with the public works. Uh, this has has always been a highly requested video was to plow the town roads and I thought what better than to do one of these here let's actually go into the subdivision now this will be a tight turn we don't want to take out the stop sign but we'll have no problem here but it's nice to be back here pushing stone farm sim we just uh, get a lot of snow it seems like every place we go all over the uh, US even some uh, parts of Canada that we play in we do get a lot of snow here but being a plow truck driver is a lot of fun and a huge truck like this makes it easy even better although we do use a lot of uh, kind of pickup trucks a truck like this is pretty neat here but this subdivision looks like there's a lot of snow drifts and there is a huge waste bin there uh, they definitely should not be putting those things in the uh, road area but let's get this plowed on out there is a lot that needs to kind of be cleared on out here but a lot of snow drifts let's actually go down here first it's a pretty nice one and we don't want to be pushing the snow blocking people's driveways but we need these roads open as quick as we can. Now I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been pretty good. I am going back to school here. My winter break's almost done and I'm just excited to kind of get back to school here but I will be making a lot more videos. Uh, daily uploads like always. Uh, this is a lot of fun here for me to make these videos. Now we do have to make a turn like this. Trucks like this really aren't that uh, common to kind of go down small uh, streets like this. So it is a little tricky. Uh, sometimes these streets aren't meant for a huge huge uh, truck like this. This is probably about a 20 ton dumb truck. That's probably what I would estimate this to be here, but no problem. We're pushing the snow and those tire chains though are definitely giving us that extra traction we need as well uh, to come in pretty handy. But I think uh, let's kind of get out the camera and tripod to give you guys some of that action as well, because that's pretty neat uh, to kind of showcase here as well. We're just about done here with this subdivision. This is a pretty new one here. Houses are going up left and right. 
on either side of the street here, which is pretty neat. But so far, the truck's been doing a pretty good job. And I will have to say, guys, negative 5 degrees out, but the heat is cranked on in here. I only have a sweatshirt on, but that's because I do have a heater on here. That's kind of the best thing about these plow trucks. You just kind of sit inside here, nice and warm in the cab, while it's freezing out there as well. But we're just about done here with the subdivision. Let's actually get that wing raised up. It is a pretty narrow uh, kind of in and out of this subdivision here. But let's get on the main roads here. But I actually just got off the phone with the fleet manager. They need help at another subdivision. But uh, there's a loader ready to go here for us. So it looks like we'll be running a wheeled loader. That's so neat. It's always uh, just nice to have like unexpected changes. But it's nice to uh, kind of be running a wheeled loader here as well. But Public Works has a lot of work you have to plow out. So many streets. Uh, so many areas of town. And uh, definitely these plow truck drivers are earning their money. And really help on out here because the town is completely closed there's just not enough roads open right now now if you do have any cool ideas here for me please drop them down below here your ideas are much appreciated i really do like using them here for upcoming videos but it looks like we have a lot of snow drifts and i'm actually kind of liking that because there's less snow we have to push here it's a little bit easier on the truck as well but we are actually coming up here to it yeah that's the wheel loader there so let's get the wing plow raised we'll keep the truck running in uh, negative five degrees the last thing we want is for our truck to be kind of uh, on the side of road not starting here sometimes these trucks uh, are just used so much that the starters wear out pretty quickly here but let's hop on in the wheeled loader what is this this looks to be a Komatsu 250 PZ wow looks like a pretty neat one here as well but let's get all those strobe lights going we definitely have to get these people plowed on out here wow this actually is a wing plow that is interesting I haven't seen one before like that but I uh, haven't really ran too much wheeled loaders like this before but it's nice to try one and let's see we do want to push all the snow all the same way here and we don't want to go off the road that's for sure now I am trying to change up my video. I'm trying to be as exciting as possible here. There's lots of things to come with the channel. I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes as well. 2021 is starting off strong and I do appreciate all of your support guys. Without you guys it wouldn't be possible and I do appreciate it. But look at that guys. We are making some huge snow uh, banks on either side here. Hopefully all the homeowners could get plowed on out. There's just too much snow here. But the wheel loader though seems to be working pretty good here. Not sure why. Uh, we can't just use our Western Star here, but no problem. It's a nice change up here for us. Wow, another construction site or two. Wow, lots of houses are being built here in Lone Oak County. Let's see where the road is. Looks to be right here. And once again, these waste uh, containers are in the street. Probably not the best thing uh, during the winter months here. But wow, more and more houses looks to be appearing here. But we're making really, really good progress. And we have just finished with this subdivision here. It was a pretty small one, only a single street, but having those wing plows really do come in handy. Instead of doing two, three passes, one pass, that's just because of how wide this is here. But let's kind of bring this along the side. I'm thinking we'll just kind of get it parked about here. Now, we did kind of come to this with it, everything turned off here, so we'll just leave it here. Uh, we'll make sure the cab is locked up there. There we have it. Well, let's hop back in here. We have a lot more uh, roads to get plowed on out here, and I actually kind of prefer running this Western Star. It's a little bit easier to run. And I will have to say, guys, the heater in this thing works a little bit better as well here. But we have to go to another subdivision. So it's going to be a little bit of ways to plow. And we'll just kind of continue on at it. We're making our way to a side street here. It's a pretty narrow one, and this is pretty heavily uh, kind of covered with trees. So there's definitely ice underneath here, losing some traction. Uh-oh, guys, we're spinning back there. We're spinning, but we're doing it. This truck here just keeps on going here. Those tire chains are pretty helpful. Now, I'm not sure. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Do the tire chains uh, kind of damage the asphalt? I would kind of think they do, uh, but they definitely are giving us enough traction here. But wow, look at that, guys. 
plowing the entire road. Luckily, there's no oncoming traffic here, and we do have uh, the permission from the town manager here, but that wing plow uh, comes in so handy, which is pretty sweet here. And big shout out goes out to Wood Metal Farming for all that they do with the unique mods that they have, just like this plow truck, all the snow plows, even that wheel loader, and I do use a lot of their other mods as well. We're coming up to the subdivision now. This is a pretty tight entranceway here. Looks like there is some uh, kind of shrubs area there. A little too uh, uh, close there. Let's kind of readjust here. We definitely don't want to uh, hit the uh, plow with the rocks. Uh, we'll definitely damage this pretty expensive truck here. And we don't want to come back uh, to the uh, fleet manager saying we did damage it here. But you guys can see just plowing on out. Looks like there are some tire tracks here. Oh yeah, people definitely got stuck here. But hopefully at least now they could kind of get out out of here get into town and kind of continue on with what they have planned here but I'm always excited to get snow hopefully I do get some more snow in real life here there really hasn't been too much these last few seasons and I just want some snow here to make some videos and to have a great time here and I do use a snowblower which is I think a pretty efficient way to kind of plow out here we do have so many streets uh, in this subdivision we have to get plowed but uh, we can only do one thing at a time here a busy person is always uh, has to make do here and as a snow uh, plow truck driver oh wow look at that we definitely don't want to slide down in there looks like they're working on some new uh, piping here wow that must be a huge project uh, to kind of go on here but we're making really good headway here Now for snow plowing, I've been trying to average one video a week here. I definitely want to do a lot, but I don't want to do three, four every single week here. We have to have a bit of fun with it as well, which is always nice. And I will have to say, guys, this is a lot of fun for me as well. Snow plowing in farm sim is really uh, exciting as well here. You guys can see we're pretty productive, and we are actually coming up here to stop and... We will just kind of continue on here. We'll actually kind of plow out the main roads and then we'll plow out some of these smaller ones on the subdivision. But wow, these waste cans, these construction companies just like putting things in the street as well. And look at that, more and more houses. Looks like this is a pretty nice uh, place to kind of build a house at. And we'll navigate through here. Kind of tricky, but luckily we do the mailboxes. Usually when you're plowing driveways, you have plow markers. But this time when you're uh, just plowing the town roads, you do not, which is no problem. We've done a pretty good job here going a little bit off, uh, but no problem so far here. A little bit close to those rocks. Oh no, we'll be able to fit. No problem. Perfect. So we'll push the snow across and we'll have to get turned around. Turning a big truck like this around is a bit tricky, maneuvering 5-6 point turn there, but we do a pretty good job here at it, and then this is the other huge road here, let's go down it, there we have it, we gotta watch those mailboxes, we don't want to be breaking mailboxes, and we definitely don't want uh, really anything to get on damage here, but I'm gonna continue at this, there's a lot more streets that will have to be plowed on out, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video, plowing out the town after a lake effect snowstorm with the public works. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.